Welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. All right, so this is my fish pond bag that I use for trout fishing. Uh, you can see I have a bunch of tippet here and different fly fishing tools. Well, I don't really fly fish too much anymore. So I'm gonna take all this stuff off, get some smaller Plano boxes and uh, make a nice little pond bag that I can just grab. Maybe I'll just keep this in my vehicle um, with one of my rods so I can just hit up this place after work real quick. So let's get this all set up, man. This is my normal bag that I use whenever I'm walking around. Um, it's, it's a monster. So I wanna take some lures out of this, fill this guy up, so let's get to it. I'm a little out of my element. I don't really do these types of videos, so this might be absolutely terrible. So yeah, so this is all the gear. Oof. And we need smaller Plano boxes. Ah. I'm running low on finesse jigs, but I have three of them here. So I'm just gonna plop these somewhere. We definitely want some drop shot weights. I'm gonna put some wacky rig hooks. Can you see that? Can you see that little guy? Actually, that's a, that's a, that's a freaking drop shot hook. What a moron. So I'm going to put some uh, hooks here. We'll put hooks in the center. Is this a disaster? And uh, that should be good, man. Amazing progress. Amazing. Wow. I like using floating jerk baits um, when fishing from the bank because when you have one that suspends and it just constantly digs down into the ground, you know, obviously as you're reeling in, it's getting shallower and shallower as it comes to you on the bank, right? So you want to give it time to float up and then it can just dive back down, float up, dive back down versus just dragging that thing into the dirt and the rocks and potentially getting snagged up. Okay. We don't need this one. That's fantastic. We only need one single box. A nice assortment of beautiful baits for some bass. I'm gonna have a fun few hours tomorrow at a pond with just this single box. But I do need soft plastics. We got the worms in the top pocket, we got the flukes in the middle pocket, and then everything else that doesn't really match up goes right here. Zipped up, safe, ready to go. So the bag is pretty much done. Um, I gotta throw some tools in the front. Actually, I need a spool of 10 pound mono just because that's how I roll. We're ready to go, man. You just sling this over your shoulder like a cool guy would do. Like that. Oh yeah. You put that around your waist like this like that, right on my belly. And then here's my rod that I'm bringing, spinning combo. I'm ready to go fishing, wish me luck. This is my first time fishing here. I saw it on Google Maps and took a chance hoping that it wasn't private and I don't see any signs so I'm doing it. We've had several days of weather in the 70s, 60s and 70s, but a lot of days were still pretty cold, especially overnight. Going with the white spinnerbait today. The sun's out, the water is not too dirty. Gonna slow roll this fan cast this whole area. See if we can pull one in. First fish of 2022. Come on, man. Today would have been a really nice day to actually be out on the water, but I'm changing up my 
fishing vessel this year. I'm not going to be using the paddle board as much. I have a kayak that I've been working on throughout the winter. And I'm just trying to finalize a few more things before I take, take it out. I just got slammed right there. Something just crushed this about 10 feet in front of me. Wow. As I was talking, man, see if he takes it again. Come on. Man, that was so close to me. But, as I was saying, the paddleboard, I'll, I'll take out maybe a few times when the water's warmer. It's just not, it's not very stable and I'm not trying to fall into 40 or 50 degree water and uh, get hypothermia. So, I need to, like I said, button up a few more things on my new kayak and then I'll be taking that thing out very soon. I'm really excited to show you guys what I got how I have it set up. Oh no. Whew, almost in that tree. I'm trying to run this crankbait parallel to the bank. Oh, is that a bass? Yes it is. Come on, man. First fish of 2022. Stay on, stay on. That is a good fish too. Nice. I knew it would be worth it to run this bait parallel to the bank. Oh man. Just barely hooked. Oh, and check that out. I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, ooh. Tiny little bait fish in its mouth. Tiny. What could that be? That looks like maybe a little perch. I don't know if you can see that. Yes! <laughs> that feels so good. Finally, first bass of 2022. Buddy, I love you. I love you. That's a nice pond bass. Nice pond largemouth. All right, man. Thank you so much. Go back to your home and enjoy those baby perch. Man, that feels good. I've come out multiple trips at the end of 2021, beginning of 2022, and I'm the world's worst cold weather bass fisherman. So that feels so nice to finally catch a fish. And a quality bass, I mean, I'm happy with that. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my God, I smell like a large mouth now. That is amazing. Let's go. The mystery tackle box lipless crankbait, the funky looking rattle trap. I'll put the name on the screen. I really can't remember it. Not bad, y'all. Not bad. I'm, I'm pumped. If I get skunked the rest of the day, I don't care. That one fish was good. It wasn't a little dink. Nice size. Woo! On top of the world, baby. Oh my god. Alright guys, well I'm at my second destination, the final destination. And I'm just kind of walking around the pond getting an idea of what things are looking like. Wow. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but there's a lot of fish right here. And I believe they're bass. Uh, it might be a mixture of bass and carp. They are stacked. All right, weightless wacky rig Senko. Uh, there's a little pocket of fish right here. I needed to just kind of sit on the mud. I think the Ned rig was getting buried into the mud. Oh, oh, oh. Something just hit it. Oh. Interesting, man. They're just so lethargic.
Wow. I can't believe that they're not going for this. I th I, I'm either, I either got a bite or I ran into one. <laughs> I've been grinding on these colder days and I'm not gonna upload a video of me not catching any fish. That's kind of boring, right? But thanks for your patience. If you're new here, welcome. I know the uh, Allegheny River video is bringing in a decent amount of subscribers and views, so that's really cool. I'm happy that people liked it. But just be patient with me. I will have some more content to upload soon now that the weather is getting much nicer. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys.